So this is a really quick video for anyone that has pets and can't afford vet care or thinks the vet is horrible and doesn't want to give their pets anything that might harm their bodies because a lot of the chemicals um, we use in antibiotics and other feline other treatment, feline, canine, or otherwise, is harmful to them without us even realizing it or looking up the effects. So what happened was our kitten, she is about 15 weeks, I think, um, started sneezing, started coughing. Upper respiratory in cats is not a good thing. Um, it can spread to the other animals. I got her one vaccination, and my other cat has one vaccination. I didn't vaccinate them. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, we have a debate about vaccinations, but um, I have a lot more scientific proof than you do probably that they're not good for your pet. Um, or you. Especially if, you know, a lot of it is for, like, uh, if you're going to have your cat or your dog around other cats and dogs. Dogs, way more likely. Cats, not so much. There's also no scientific evidence, or there's a little bit, but the cons and pros and cons of vaccinations in your pets um, usually... They say there's no difference in vaccinations, <clears throat> whether they're going to contract something. Plus, no one's trying natural remedies. So. Also, if you get your pet vaccinated or not even that, if you get a pet, say, from a shelter, it could be, you know, an eight-year-old animal. And you take to the vet and you go, well, I have no idea what shots it's had, what shots it hasn't had. They're they going to reshot they your pet. They just go ahead and give the vaccines all over again, which... And they could give your pet, like, when we took her in, we took her to a clinic, which does cheap stuff, um, and just as thorough, they wanted to give her all of her shots at once, and that's a lot for a system to handle, especially in a kitten. It's good. She's more prone to getting sick with the vaccines, but this isn't about vaccines. This is really quick. If your cat has an upper respiratory infection, which I know a lot of people get stuck with, and they don't know what to do... Um, I looked up some stuff, and echinacea and golden seal drops. You put... Maybe three or four? Three or four drops. You put three or four drops in... Yeah, um, um, heads up. Just no, he's okay. okay. You Sorry. You put three or four drops in, um, like, that much water, I guess. Like, a very little amount. Like a, like a small... Bowl. bowl, you know what I mean, like a cat bowl, um, three or four drops, and distilled water, it can't be anything from your tap, no because, chlorine, no fluoride, yeah, because your tap water has chlorine and fluoride in it, even if you have a filter, it's not going to filter out fluoride, um, fluoride or, it's not going to filter that shit out, so you want to give them the purest form of water you can, which is distilled, if you, you put the drops in, bottled. um, only have that water available to them, and my kitten was good in like a day, she was good, she, uh, her back to herself, level. Um, yeah, her energy level. She, she, up. her personality came back. So, if you need to go to the vitamin shop, it's under the herbs. It has to be alcohol free. Uh, echinacea golden seal extract, and it's organic echinacea. Um, organic echinacea pur purpurea, and organic golden seal. Um, there's no yeast, corn, wheat, gluten, sugar, salt. So it's all natural. If you want to see the bottle. It came from the vitamin shop. It came from the vitamin shop. You can get it. So give that a try. And we'll make more videos about natural pet remedies.